Hi guys, it is Tuesday today. I'm starting a new vlog. Today was the first day of classes and I'm honestly just starting the vlog right now because it is about to be the craziest storm here and I need to show you guys the sky. Do you see these clouds? It's dark, dark, dark outside and like there's a weird cloud shape going on and I'm kind of scared, not gonna lie. Hi guys, I look kind of crazy right now. I just got out of the shower. Um, I figured I would talk to you about some of my current favorite skincare products that I've been using. I have some like breakouts happening, but they are hormonal because I'm about to get my period and I always break out pretty bad around my period and then it um, clears up. So these products like really help my skin. When I'm not on my period, I feel like all my hormonal acne is just like not really controllable with products. I don't really know if that's a thing. If you're an expert, let me know. But I wanna tell you guys about some current favorite products. So I wanna to talk to you about Duvol. I've been loving their Radiance Spin Care System. So it's this little um, like spinning machine. As you, I don't really know if you can see, but it spins. And I really like it to help get like a super deep cleanse on my skin. So the one that's on there right now is the Exfoliating Facial Brush. There is a facial cleansing brush which is a lot more like soft and gentle like it's not harsh on the skin at all there is a body exfoliating cleansing brush so you just like pop all the different just pop all the different tops on there turn it on and you can use it which is great and it also comes with a pumice stone for your feet so i've been loving this it's really awesome if you guys want to try it out for yourself you can use my code sasha f for 70 percent off which is a really good deal so i'm gonna have that link and code down in the description for you but if you're looking for something to really help just like get a deep clean in your skin i highly recommend this so i've been loving that um i've really been loving the brand new youth to the people exfoliant it is their mandelic acid and superfood unity exfoliant I love their packaging always, but I love chemical exfoliants. I feel like they do a way better job. They're just so much more effective than a physical exfoliant. So I've been loving this. I just use it at night after I cleanse, rub it all over a con pad, and I use that. As always, Coco Kind is one of my favorites. I am like almost out of their probiotic acne serum. I just use this after toner pre-moisturizer as my serum. I feel like it really helps manage my breakouts that are not hormonal, so I've been loving it and lastly my moisturizer which i've finished about halfway so far the oc blemish balm i love this moisturizer um it really gives me like a glow and i also feel like it's just helped with my skin overall so i've been loving this it smells so good it just smells like a spa like a botanical spa it's amazing and as always my gizu honey infused hair oil this product is insane I literally need like two drops and that's it. Like this has lasted forever. I'm about to put some in my hair once it's a little more dry. This product is awesome. All the Gizu products are incredible. So yeah, I just wanted to share some of my current favorites. I will link everything down below. Um, I love knowing people's like current skincare routine, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to moisturize my body, put on some moisturizer and get all cozy. morning everyone it is thursday it is 6 45 a.m i have a 7 15 uh, a.m rooftop pilates today so i'm up and ready for that i'm literally just wearing a sweater and some leggings because it is super chilly out at this time but i can see the sunrise which is so beautiful um, i'm just gonna quickly make a matcha and then we're gonna head downstairs to the car to head out Good morning guys i know i officially said good morning earlier but now i'm a little more put together it's 8 45 my voice is so like raspy because i woke up so early and i haven't like eaten anything so please excuse that but it's 8 45 i just got back from my pilates workout i did a mat pilates class at sweat and tonic at 7 15 this morning which is so early for me i literally woke up and it was almost pitch black outside i watched the sunrise i left the house when it was pretty dark out but it was actually nice that was such a hard pilates class oh my god i was in pain shaking everything but but i feel really good i'm trying to get back into the groove of working out moving my body it's been like too long that i've been off of a workout movement routine so i did a class this morning to sort of get me back into it 
And it is now 8.45 and I'm home. I'm gonna do a little bit of work quickly because I just have a couple things to catch up on and then we're gonna make some breakfast. I need to take my vitamins um, because I just had to quickly make a coffee this morning just to give me some fuel and energy um, for my class. So I think I'm gonna make oatmeal. I'm not really sure, but I will fill you guys in on what I make. Okay, so I did end up making some oatmeal. It is under there, I promise. And I mixed in some blueberries while I was cooking it, topped it off with banana slices, pumpkin seeds, some coconut flakes, and peanut butter, of course. I'm gonna dig in. I have not had oatmeal in too long, and I'm just craving it because it was kind of chilly outside this morning, so this is breakfast. Are you guys team mix your oatmeal or just like pick out everything in the bowl because I'm team mix. I literally mix it all together. Look how yummy. Oh my god i'm literally gonna devour this i'm gonna watch some youtube and then i'm gonna get started on some work okay it's 11 30 i've been sitting doing some school for like since i last talked with you guys and i'm actually gonna have a little baking day today because i'm really behind on content i'm feeling very kind of like lost with my instagram i just like haven't been as active and the account is not really like doing as well as it has in the past and it's pretty discouraging so i need to kind of like get back into my groove of posting regularly and posting content that actually gives value to people not just to like get a post up you know what i mean so we're baking today and i'm gonna be experimenting with cassava flour it's paleo gluten free i think it's grain free yeah grain free and gluten free never used this before but i want to make some brownies so we're gonna see how it goes i guess <laughs> Lightning stricken cactus and it starts to rain The smell of steamed asphalt since it novocaine Nature's brew of all kinds of things The mountain sunk hill sky color schemes Makes you forget about all types of things You remind me of the Arizona fun Sorry if you can hear my dishwasher running in the back But I just tried them they're pretty good they're more like cakey than brownies but i would just call these like a brownie muffin kind of they're really good the cassava has like kind of a distinct flavor but it kind of just tastes like if any of you have ever had one of those like flourless chocolate cakes flourless brownies it tastes the exact same to me so i actually really like it it's not overly sweet I definitely could have added more sugar but i actually really like these i feel like i could eat like two without feeling so sugared out you know i would consider these a success i actually really like them i just filmed a little fall outfit tiktok so that was fun i'm sweating i made a big mess i just cleaned it up if you guys aren't following me on tiktok you definitely should i will put it on the screen somewhere here but follow me there because i post a lot of stuff that does not make it to instagram so you guys should follow me there okay it's three o'clock i was craving another coffee and i was craving the starbucks pumpkin cream cold foam also just excuse my appearance like, let's fix this hair for a minute but i was craving the pumpkin cream cold foam but i obviously didn't want to leave to go get it so i did like a lazy a lazy girl um pumpkin cold foam without needing actual pumpkin so i just used this rise um nitro cold brew poured it over ice and then i added a scoop of the bloom pumpkin spice blend into some cashew milk and i cold foamed it in my frother and look what we have this looks so good so 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 good so let's try it out mm. yeah that's good i actually i'm gonna add a little sweetener that's what i forgot to add but other than that it's a 10 out of 10. i feel like every vlog just ends up turning into like a food vlog but i'm prepping some dinner i'm making some fresh rolls with um, rice paper and i'm also gonna cook up a sweet potato just to have it be a little more filling because I feel like the fresh rolls by themselves don't fill me up enough. 
So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just cutting a bunch of veggies and getting them. Satisfy the times and make you wonder about the bigger picture in your life. The simple times in the Arizona thunder. Okay, now we're gonna make the peanut sauce. So let's get started. I'm gonna do a bit of sriracha, some peanut butter, a little bit of soy sauce rice vinegar, and some sesame oil. We're gonna whisk. A little bit of water. And garlic powder. Need some more acidity. I'm gonna do some lemon juice. And a little pinch of maple syrup. Okay, it's perfect. The Arizona thunder tonight. It's all behind ya Mirage of agua The stars above ya The creature's days To nocturnal days May My oven is making the weirdest sound But these are the completed fresh rolls We have four pretty big ones And I have a lot of leftover veggies With our peanut sauce So I'm super excited to eat this Water before coffee, always. Friday morning, finally the end of the week. I mean, the week went by pretty fast because Monday was Labor Day, but I'm very happy that it's Friday for sure because classes started, so I don't have classes for two days on the weekend. I just made myself a little coffee. I use the Chamberlain coffee, um, coffee bags. I usually use them for cold brew, but you can use them for hot coffee as well, so I just Steep that with some hot water and I frothed some cashew milk with cinnamon and moon juice vegan collagen. So we're gonna have that. I drink a bunch of water before, as you saw first, I try to drink that whole bottle um, before I have coffee in the morning. And it is time for my morning rituals, journey to the heart and the five minute journal. I've been loving the five minute journal. I got it just a couple weeks ago. If you guys saw in a different vlog um, from Indigo, but I really, really like it. It's just a much easier way to journal and it's still um, like a good way to ground you for the day and it doesn't really require a lot of thinking in the morning, which I kind of like. I don't really want to have to like think about what I'm gonna write. It just gives you the prompts and you fill them in. So I'm really liking that. So I'm just gonna spend some time and do that quickly. Um, been making more of an effort to not go on my phone. So I have not been on my phone and I've been up for a good like 30 minutes. It's like 8.15, I think, or almost 8.30. Um, I've been filming some clips because I'm filming a TikTok, but I actually sleep with my phone on airplane mode um, So I don't get notifications in the night and I don't like see any notifications when I wake up So I've just been taking video clips, but it's still on airplane mode. So when I'm done all this um, I will turn it on after that, but let's get to journaling <music> got ready i'm gonna head on a quick little morning walk just to move my body i also need to go to the store and get some like toilet paper and just like a couple things like that that i am out of so i'm literally wearing the most chill outfit ever we have some gray aritzia sweatpants i think these are the mega i think um a little cropped tank top from zara and the Aritzia boyfriend hoodie that I will probably zip up because it's only like 16 degrees out so it is not that hot but it's kind of nice to be able to walk because I just like overheat so easily so I'm kind of like into being able to walk and not have to like sweat like crazy so yeah I just got ready for the day this is probably just gonna what I'm gonna wear for the whole day anyways because 
I'm just gonna be home all day doing work on the computer and stuff like that. So let's go on our little walk, um, get some movement in. It's 9 a.m. When I come back, we're gonna make some breakfast. Okay, I just got back from my walk. I got toilet paper, some coconut oil, some cheese, some midday squares, some unsalted butter and jam because I did not have those things. And now we're gonna make some breakfast. I want to make a green smoothie. I've just been craving greens. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, I'm also filming a TikTok, but we have some unsweetened vanilla oat milk in there. I'm gonna add one frozen banana. A very, very large handful of spinach because this is like about to go bad, so I wanna use as much of it as I can. I'm gonna do two dates, some vanilla protein, obviously new zest, my OG ride or die protein. You guys can use my code SASHA15 for a discount by the way. And lastly, peanut butter. but also I'm cooking a veggie burger in the toaster. If you guys don't do that, you're doing it wrong. It is so much easier to just cook it in your toaster then you don't need to put it in the oven. You don't need to dirty a whole pan on the stove. Like literally just pop it in the toaster and it cooks perfectly. It actually gets crispier than on the stove for me. So that's just a little tip that I highly recommend doing. All right, I made a pretty big salad with some massaged kale in the bottom. You just can't see. Cherry tomatoes, some quinoa, chickpeas. Um, a Dr. Prager's California veggie burger and some chickpeas with goat cheese and I'm gonna do like a balsamic dressing on the top and that's it, super simple, filling, lots of protein, carbs, healthy fats, looks delish. Just got a couple packages and I'm gonna open them with you guys. I do know what both of these are. I got some coconut oil from Nutiva. I'm actually working on a campaign with them on Instagram. So they sent me product. I didn't realize they were sending me two ginormous things of coconut oil, but that's very nice of them. And Greenhouse sent me a bunch of their shots and juice as well. It's actually kind of funny because as you guys know, I worked for them and I feel like since I worked for them, they've like sent me so much stuff. Um, so yeah. I got a Stranger, which is like one of my favorite juices by them, a Gatsby, a Genius, a Matcha Brecky, Ultraviolet Kombucha, I got some of their Pick Me Up Boosters, Fiery Ginger, Inside Job, and lullaby so that's very nice thank you so much greenhouse good morning everyone happy saturday morning i just got out of the shower as you can see it's like 10 a.m just got out of the shower i'm in my robe because um i'm leaving soon and i don't know what i'm wearing yet so i'm just chilling in my room but while my hair dries we are making our morning coffee i'm adding in some vital proteins collagen into the hot coffee we're gonna do a little froth. We're actually gonna make some cold foam right now. So I'm just gonna take a separate cup. I'm gonna add cashew milk, a little bit of maple syrup for sweetness, and lots of cinnamon. And we're gonna froth. It's almost like doubled and tripled in size already. I made a lot of foam because I want this to kind of be a latte because this is espresso, not cold brew. So I'm going to pour it on. I'm also gonna add my ceremony mushrooms, mushroom drops to my coffee. I just wanted to take a sip and I realized that it was still hot. So I just added some ice, which I forgot to add. But yeah, today is Saturday. Today's actually gonna be a fun day. I'm going to Yorkville with Vanessa, my sister. We're gonna go to Dice, which is like a fruit bar. They have smoothie bowls, like chia pudding, some really yummy stuff. So we're gonna be 
there for breakfast and then we're gonna just walk around Yorkville, probably shop a little bit, go to Aritzia, Zara, um, all the fun spots because I really need some fall clothes. Like I need a new wardrobe. I realize that I literally have nothing to wear that I actually like or like feel good in anymore. So we need to update our closet. So that is the plan. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. My camera is flashing or my battery is flashing. So I'm gonna go charge my camera for a little bit and then I will come back when I'm getting dressed. All right, I'm about to head out and this is the fit for the day. It's a very dad fit, but I honestly love it. It's so comfy. So I have some thrifted Levi's shorts that actually are so flattering and fit perfect. The waistline like comes down, so it's just super flattering. Um, an Aritzia ribbed tank, Aritzia linen white button up, the New Balances and my little Prada bag. My hair is so frizzy because I just showered and it air dried, but that will hopefully go down as the day goes on. So I'm going to go pick up my sister now and we're going to head to Yorkville. I will try to vlog. Don't know if I will. I'm not really used to vlogging in public, but maybe I will take some clips for you guys. This is embarrassing. Do we see? It's time for a haul. All right, guys, I just got back home from Yorkville. Some damage was done today let me just say but i was in desperate need of some new fall clothing i honestly had like nothing really folly to wear so i'm really happy with everything that i got today i'm gonna do a haul i went to zara and aritzia and i got one thing from h m and also i just want to preface not that this really matters but i went a little crazy at aritzia because i am technically an employee there um a boutique associate i've only ever worked one shift but i do get the discount so i kind of got a lot of stuff because i know that i get the discount so just something to consider but yeah <laughs> so let's get started into the haul i hope you guys enjoy okay first i actually ordered this online a couple days ago so like no discount on this but i got this really cute little vest it is fuzzy i originally wanted their green one um but they were sold out and i actually am very into the brown um this is called the woodbine vest so we got that i got a faux blue leather ghana jacket which is just like a shacket jacket it's so nice i love 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 this blue color i think it's really unique um and i'm kind of happy that i didn't go with black just because i always wear black so i love this i got two pairs of cargo pants this one is like a brown um like a brownish green color more brown and they fit my legs all the way which is nice with the pockets down on the side so i got it in this color and i also got it in a cream color i feel like you can't really see it's very bright um but i love these there's just pockets on the back they're super flattering and you can really like dress these up and down so i'm excited to wear these with some docks some boots it's gonna look super cute next i got this amazing pink cashmere sweater it's so cozy i absolutely love the color neckline is really cute perfect for tucking into like a pair of jeans so i'm excited about that i really am trying to like branch out into more color for this fall because i feel like i always just wear gray and black and like the weather is already dreary in the fall winter kind of so i may as well bring some color to my wardrobe next i got this really cute t-shirt that says rodeo kid i actually love the fit it kind of reminds me of like a baby tee but obviously it fits me but it just like kind of stops right at the waist and i love this green color it looks really cute with the cargo pants I got this really cute green cardigan it's like a sage green i feel like the color isn't really showing up properly on camera but it's sage which like is the color of literally the year and it's super soft i would just wear this open with like a little crop top under it i love that i also my sister got some stuff at aritzia but i got just like a white knitted um bra top and she accidentally took that so i'm gonna get that later but if you can just visualize a white bra top with like a blazer that's the kind of top that i got i just don't have it with me right now next i got this cardigan which i love it's very like preppy blazer or preppy like varsity vibes which i think is super cute it's blue with a little white trim around it 
oversized i love it um super comfy very warm also would pair gray with just like a crop top jeans um leather pants i'm a very kind of like basic dresser like i like to take a lot of simple minimal looking ish pieces and just kind of like dress them up with accessories and stuff so i love that and also from my online order with that vest i got another boyfriend zip up hoodie um in gray my black one i wear like every single day this is like my favorite favorite oversized sweater to wear literally with jeans shorts leggings like you name it it's so cozy um when it's brand new i love it it's cozy in general but i just got the heather gray one because i needed a different color so that is aritzia now i will show you zara i only got three things or four things from there actually so first from zara i got this really cute little green bag my sister actually pointed it out i got a blazer that i'll show you in a second but she said it would look really cute with the blazer as an outfit and i actually end up really liking this because it comes with a little chain you can take off the crossbody strap and like this mini purse i don't even know what the point of this is but you can take this off which i probably would but i just love the color um and it's always nice to just have cute little accessories like this that you can add and kind of spice up your outfit without having to like break the bank like this was 40 bucks and it's just like a perfect accessory so i got that this is probably my favorite thing that i got all day which is like very out there for me color wise <laughs> but I got this amazing, amazing blazer from Zara. The camera does not even do the color justice. It's like a royal blue periwinkle. I don't even know how to describe it kind of color, but it's perfect. If it's perfect, it's kind of oversized, but not too oversized, but I love the color. And I was in need of a really good blazer. So I'm really, really excited about this. I got um, just a plain black crop tank top. I have this exact one in like maroon and in white and I did not have a black one. So I just got a black one. These tank tops are perfect um, to like literally go with everything and anything. You can just never have too many basics. And then I got the, uh, the 90s full length jeans <clears throat> that have been popular on Zara's website or whatever, like at Zara in general for so long. Everybody has these and I feel like I'm so late to the game, but I'm not that tall. Okay, like I'm only 5'7", but every pair of pants does not go down to my ankle usually. Like they're always a little too short or like over time they'll shrink accidentally, whatever. I never have pants that fit me fully and like it's just always kind of like at an awkward length. So I got the 90s jeans. These are super long. They go like past my foot, raw hem on the bottom, but I love the fit of these. Like they fit perfect. They're so comfortable and zara jeans are just the best like 60 bucks for a really nice pair of jeans and i love that these are long so i can wear boots with them like even my cowboy boots like i'm just i'm so excited these are amazing amazing jeans and the very last piece from h&m i just got this kind of like thick ish ribbed nude tank top because again you can never have too many neutrals basics to add to every single outfit so yeah that is my haul a lot of stuff but i'm very excited i just organized my closet a little bit and kind of folded stuff i actually just got rid of like a huge pile of stuff that i'm probably gonna bring to plato's closet because that's the only place that like consistently buys stuff like i put my stuff on depop but it obviously doesn't all sell right away or in general it doesn't sell at all so plato's closet is just like a good way to get rid of stuff quick so i'm very happy i feel like i have a really good kind of fall wardrobe for now um if anything i might just need like a new pair of shoes maybe a couple more knit sweaters over the next few weeks but for right now i think i'm pretty good i have color which is very exciting so yeah i will try to link as many of the items as i can down below um if i can find them but yeah that's my haul all right guys it's a couple hours later it's like 7 45 8 i'm heading to dinner with my parents and my sister at 8 30 which is so late for me um but i thought i would do a quick outfit wearing my aritzia melina pants this sage green bodysuit and just a little black blazer and i'm gonna wear some sneakers with this and yeah good morning guys it is sunday morning um i woke up at 11 30 this morning because we got back from dinner at literally 12 30 like it was so late it was way past my bed my bedtime but yeah i slept in it's 11 30 
today i just really have some errands to run i need to get some groceries like i just need some bread and some fruit um and like some fresh veggies and stuff um i need some more milk um my grandparents are coming over to see the apartment because they have not yet and i'm renting out my locker in the building to somebody so i'm showing that to him today before he like agrees to fully rent it for me um and yeah and also a deep clean because it's sunday so that is what i'm doing just gonna prep for the week ahead it's a pretty gloomy day i think it's raining or it's supposed to rain so that kind of sucks but yeah just a very chill sunday over here i literally sound like a man right now oh my god because it's I slept in and my morning voice is still still happening and it's literally 12 30 like i that's why i hate going out late or going to bed too late is because i slept until 11 30 because i didn't set an alarm because i was exhausted and now like half my day is already done it's 12 30 and i haven't done anything um and that really pisses me off it just kind of like messes me up you know like i don't have time to like eat breakfast lunch and dinner i'm a very routine person and i like to stick the things that i know make me feel my best that i thrive off of and when i'm like not doing that it just kind of like puts me puts me off of feeling good and whatnot so that's a little annoying but yeah that's the plan for today i don't know if i'm gonna continue the vlog if i do maybe you'll see some clips but yeah Okay, I'm just about to start cleaning because look at my room. It is a literal disaster. This is stuff that I'm selling on Depop and Plato's Closet. Bags, tripod, all the stuff I bought yesterday. It's literally a mess. So I'm gonna be cleaning and just getting my life together on this lovely Sunday. Um, so I think I might just end off the vlog here because that's all I'm doing for the rest of the day. It's two o'clock. I'm already just like tired from the day and like, oh, you know what I mean? It's just a very scary Sunday over here. So I'm going to clean my apartment, probably make something to eat because I have not eaten yet. I'm actually getting kind of hungry. Maybe I'll go on a little walk later just to get some movement in. I don't really know, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on TikTok, um, Instagram, all that fun stuff. Obviously, I will have that on the screen for you guys. So yeah, have a good rest of your day and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.